Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can push, pull and run an image, a Docker image from Docker Hub. So let's begin. So Docker Hub is basically a GitHub for Docker images, basically to store, share and also pull your Docker images from internet. So let's begin with the process. So first of all, you need to head up to Docker Hub. You can go to the Docker Hub's official website by just searching Docker Hub and now head up to this website so first of all you need to create an account for this if you do if you don't have an account you can sign up it you can also sign up it using google or github or any other kind of social now we can uh, begin storing our images in this docker hub all right so once you log into docker hub you will see a portal like this now basically we have to store our docker images in repositories so first of all if i click on this repository tab then I'll head. Uh, I'll be redirected to this repository list. Currently, I don't have any repository. So if I want to uh, push images to a repository, I have to create one. I'll just click on create here, and now I can put any. I can uh, actually uh, name it any repository I want to. So I can just uh, name it like something like text test repository. And then I, I can keep it private as well, and I can keep it public as well. So for this, I'll keep it private so that uh, I can show you how you can authenticate your Docker account in your system as well. All right, so I'll just create this repository now, and I'll show you how you can push the image into this repository. All right, so now we have created this repository. Now we can move on to our project terminal and now we can log in into this docker hub now how we can log in is just simply running this command docker login and this will tell us the steps which are necessary to log in which is like heading heading up to this url which is login.docker.com so i'll just open this here and now it's it says enter your one time code which is present right here now i'll just copy it and i'll paste it here so it should allow me to log in here just confirm it so it says the login is succeeded and this should also return me that login is succeeded here so yeah it says login succeeded right here so we have logged in into our docker hub account now we can easily push docker images to docker hub all right so for this purpose i have created a docker image docker file for a sample flask app right here so I'll just build this image using the docker build command. Now just create the docker build hyphen T. I'll just name this image as Flask app. And then um, I can use the hyphen F flag for docker file's name, which is dockerfile.flask. And then I'll just put the dot to refer to the content of docker file. All right, so the image is going to be built soon then we can simply push the docker image how we're going to push is we can simply run the uh, push command but before that we also need to tag the image for docker hub so for tagging the image we can run docker tag then i can uh, put the image name here which is flask app for me and then i'm gonna tag it to what my account so how we're gonna tag it is by writing my username then slash and then uh, just whatever the name of image I want to keep it in Docker Hub. So I'll just keep it as Flask, and then um, I can uh, put anything as the tag. I think I'll just put here latest. So now my Docker images, a Docker image is tagged. Perfect. And now we can um, push this image. How we're going to push is simply just replace the tag with push. You will push this in the repository also remove the image name just for the case because we are using the tagged image name now now if i run the docker push command it will start pushing to docker hub all right so as you can see it has started pushing now i'll just check on docker hub if it is present here or not i'll just all right so we have pushed uh, our image in a repository but it is apparently uh, named as um, my username slash flask that's because we had tagged that image to uh, my username slash flask and latest so 
it will eventually create a repository named flask for us because uh, the string after slash represents the repository name so even if you don't have a repository in your account you can simply uh, create one by using slash flask and then it will create a repository on its own all right perfect so we have also learned how we can create repository using command line all right now since we have pushed the image now i'm going to show you how you can take a pull and run the image on our system so for this first of all i'll just verify if i have any images right here i have a few now i'm going to delete this so i can show you how the process works i'll just, I'll just delete this using uh docker rmi and now if i check i think i should have no images perfect now i should also have no containers perfect all right so now we can uh move on to the pulling part so how we can pull is simply just run the same command we had run for push which is docker push and then username slash repository and the tags name now we can just run docker pull the username slash repository's name and then the tags name all right so when we run this command the pulling process shall start and it has uh, pulled the image it already existed for me due to the cache storage but it might not for you so it will uh, start a whole pulling process and it might take up to one to two minutes all right so if i now check docker images i have an image right here which is named part 2k3 slash flask which is uh the image name present on my repository perfect so now i can just simply run this image and for running this i can just use my docker run command and i can uh run i can use my p tag for binding the port now i can write the name of repository uh, write the name of the image is python pass 2 k 3 slash flask and then i can also attach the tag which is latest so this should run my flask app perfect so it is running right now if i go to the local host you can see it, it says this is a sample flask project which is the original project i had set up for my sample flask app all right perfect so that's how we actually can run a docker image through docker hub after pulling the image and also we have learned how you can push your docker image to docker hub all right so that's it for the video and guys thanks for watching